I am hanging out at the mall and I am actually wearing my Simplicity Vintage Jumpsuit that I made a while ago. I love this jumpsuit and I actually paired it with some Converse, but I believe it's so versatile you can wear with boots or just about any type of footwear. And what I'm doing now is I'm actually going to go shopping for a birthday gift for someone. And once I leave here, I plan to go to Joanne Fabrics because I want to get some fabric to make this simplicity skirt. I want to make the shortest view and I would love to make it in some type of maybe like denim or some other type of cotton. So we'll see what Joann's has in store. They had a super cute denim jacket that had like little puffy sleeves. I loved it, but I didn't get that. I ended up getting a pair of pants and the pants are super cute because of the pockets in the back. I just love them. So I think the birthday girl is gonna really like these pants. Now the pockets in the back are really just simple pockets, but I love the fact that the pants even have pockets. And then it has a drawstring in the front and the pants are wide leg. So I think these would be really cute. I would be happy if somebody bought these for me. Look at this. This is a beaded tweed fabric. I think this is so pretty. These are like little bitty beads all over this fabric. This is $21.99 a yard. So they have some denim with some different type of print on it. Here's another one. And then this one I think is like a paisley. And then you have this embroidery. I've seen that before. This looks like some type of flowers. And you have this fabric. And then down here, you have this with the little bumblebees. And what is this? Oh, this looks like butterflies. Or what are those? Dragonflies, maybe? And then this patchwork. I keep thinking about that tweed that I just showed you. That is calling my name. I think I might get it. Oh, this is cute with the little sailboats. Oh, decisions, decisions. I decided to take the beaded fabric and hold it up against myself to get an idea of how it might look. I was trying to think about what I would actually wear with this skirt, how hard it would be to sew beaded fabric, and how often I would actually wear the skirt if I did decide to make it. I got the tweed fabric. I couldn't resist. I thought it was so pretty. So it looks like I am going to end up making this skirt twice because I definitely want this skirt in denim, but as I was walking around looking at the denim, I could not stop thinking about this tweed fabric. I think it's so pretty. So when I was getting it cut at the counter, the lady said, what are you making? A skirt? I was like, how did you know? She said, either a skirt or a jacket. And she was right. So I'm going to go ahead and make this skirt. And then I did pick up a zipper. Invisible zipper goes in this skirt. So now I'm ready. Oh, and as far as the care of the fabric, it did say to hand wash it, not to iron it, and I think there was one other thing. What did it say? Hand wash, not iron, and I know what it was. Line dry. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wash this, but I have a hand washing. I think I have a hand wash setting on my machine, so that's good. And then I will go ahead and line dry, and then I'll get started on this skirt. I have all of the pieces cut out and I've already started sewing and what I did have to do is remove a lot of the beads that are in the seam line so that I can go ahead and just sew straight down without having to hit the beads with my needle. So, so far I have put in the darts and then on this side edge you had to do some narrow hemming so I did that there and now I'm going to move on to the next step. I've been trying to keep up with all the little beads. So the next step is to work on the overlay. So you put stay stitches here at the top and then on one of the edges you do some narrow hemming. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that. I have the band attached to the overlay and this edge here was folded over and trimmed 
and now I'm just going to fold it back onto itself. I'm going to open up the pressed edge and then I'll pin these two edges together and then I'll stitch from here over to this area here where there's a dot and so I will stop when I get to that dot. So I turned the band out and then I folded the band on top of the seam allowance and it says to slip stitch this folded edge down over the seam allowance but I think I'm going to go ahead and just stitch in the ditch. So if I stitch along this line here it should catch this edge here. I have pinned the front overlay to the front of the skirt and I have this wrong side is matching the right side of the skirt. And then I have drawn in the stitching line on the overlay and also the stitching line on the front and then I'm matching these up. So I'm just making sure that this line is pretty much on top of that line and then I'm pinning everything down. And then I will stitch from this end over to right where the buttonhole starts. I'm working on the back of the skirt now. I just finished inserting the invisible zipper and then I also put in the darts that go in the back of the skirt and I need to finish off this zipper down here just to close this up and then I think next we'll be putting on the pockets. I have the pockets sewn on to the skirt and I am making a size 8 by the way and this is the button that I decided to use for the front. Next I will be attaching the front of the skirt to the back of the skirt and the care instructions did say not to iron the fabric however I have been pressing my seams open and I have been pressing my darts and what I like to use is parchment paper. This is the same kind of parchment paper that you would use in the kitchen and I just place it on top of the seam and then take the iron and press right over the top. As I'm stitching the side seams together, I'm making sure to keep the finished edge of this overlay out of the way. This is my first time sewing with a beaded fabric like this. And I can say that it is actually really, really heavy. So as I'm picking it up and moving it around, there is definitely some weight to it. tried the skirt on and when I zipped it up I was able to see the zipper tape so I'm just going back in and sewing a little bit closer to the teeth and also for my overlay I use the longer length so the skirt itself is short and then the overlay is long okay so this is the longer overlay that I was talking about so I could have cut this short so that it would be the length of the view D skirt, but I just decided to leave it long because I thought that might be cute. So now all I need to do is put on the waistband and then finish the raw edges of the hem and the overlay and then I'll be done. Mm -hmm. 